where like where do you, where did you see this like this well it's it's what they do in freemasonry oh, if the... you are a supporter of freemasonry for mm-hmm. 20 years mm-hmm. you can get and i've told you this before called in to a meeting mm-hmm. and at that meeting you're told there's an opportunity which they could pass on to you that would make you very wealthy. That opportunity, however, requires that your wife be on side. When your wife comes into the meeting, she is told the story that you have an opportunity as a family to be very wealthy. But there is one condition. She must agree to carry the egg to term. an egg to term. They go through the process of telling her that's what the Virgin Mary did. Good enough for Jesus and his mother must be good enough for you. Kind of thing. So when she agrees to carry a baby to term, that baby is an original. Now here, to understand this concept, you have to think of it like Coca-Cola. When you make Coca-Cola originally, you're making a syrup, not a seltzer water. Not a carbonated water, it's just a syrup. The syrup is the formula and some water that allows it to flow. So let's say that a jar of that syrup or a canister or whatever it comes in is 62% syrup. And the balance, the other 38% is water. Now you send that to a uh, bottler or to a theater, for example, and somebody comes and orders a Coke. Well, you put it in a machine that puts some of the syrup and some carbonated water, they mix together and you get your coke. Now the equivalent in cola says that out of the syrup, you can make a soft drink, and depending on the brand you're making, that is 13% syrup or 12% syrup or 11% syrup, or 10%, or 9%, or 8%. So depending on the brand you're making, you make it stronger or weaker, but it's never as strong as the syrup itself, which was 62%. In genetic engineering, when that woman goes in and is artificially inseminated, Mm -hmm. she's going to have a baby equal to the syrup, 62%. Perfect. But that baby will begin a process of creating future generations. It will have children. And those children will be somewhere in the vicinity of 13 or 12 percent of the original that that woman made from the original egg. Their children will have a level of 11 or 10 percent. And their children will have a level of 9 or 8 percent. That's why they always talk about four generations. Mm -hmm. 
So four generations down, the 8 or 9% is sufficient to make people do what the original intended them to do. Mm. You don't need to be 62%. 8% is enough. But after the fourth generation, the system starts to break down. So people like the Masons have to monitor families like the Mormons do. You know, They mm-hmm. monitor the surnames and, and then track because if each generation lives 60 years, and 20 of those years are overlapping, then you could have 100 years go by before you need the booster, a new one, to start the process again. And that's why they have to track. So that's Once, what the Eastern, uh, Eastern Stars do. I've heard they keep track on people, you know. Gossip and stuff. Well, Eastern Star, Mormons, uh, nuns, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that happen behind convent walls that people don't see. Mm -hmm. Sure, the girls that go into nunneries go there for security because they're basically afraid of men. And, and they want the security of a whole bunch of nuns surrounded by walls. But inside of there, the superiors mm-hmm. are those people who agree to the bigger process because they want sovereignty and security, and the government offers them sovereignty and security. The government says you don't have to pay taxes you can live together. Um, we we will provide you with uh, government grants to handle things like hospitals or orphanages or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they make a lot of money, and they have a lot of security, and the leaders have sovereignty over this gang of sheep they call nuns, uh, which, by the way, is the word iron in French, one. Yeah. And and in there, they can basically say to the girls, um, as part of your initiation process to become a full-fledged nun, you have to agree to be inseminated artificially with uh, an egg. Uh-huh. And then, of course, they, they take the baby and they tell the registrar and the government, that this baby was left at the door, and they're going to take care of it, and therefore they give it a name and everything. Mm 